Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, Republican from New York, upstate New York, joins me now. Congresswoman, do you get the impression that the president is just walking away from the migrant problem? It looks like it was those that footage is astounding to watch. I mean, just think about a country that doesn't protect its borders. Those people, obviously, they're smuggled. They could be. We have no idea where they're going to go. Uh, we have this crisis around the world. Uh, it's just disastrous. And there's Mayor Adams. You know, look, he had he has a lot of strikes against him. Number one, he took over for a disastrous de Blasio administration, which was bad. He's got bad policy coming out of Joe Biden and Mayorkas not controlling our border. And now his polling is at about 28 percent, which is even worse than Joe Biden. And Governor Cuomo is thinking about taking a run at him in a primary and is defeating him soundly in these polls. So it's going to be a, a really difficult time for him. But they continue their sanctuary policies. He's continuing to cut uh, all across uh, the all across the, uh, the the budget for New York City because they're in, in in a difficult situation. It's costing about a half a trillion dollars for us, the taxpayers across the nation, to handle these people. And the Biden administration does absolutely nothing. It, it, it's incredible to watch this because while we have these wars uh, going on overseas, especially the Middle East, you know, Iran funding proxies. Who are these people? Are they joining terror cells? Right. New York City is a hotspot. And as I've said to you on this program a few times before, I represent most of New York's northern border, where right. our Border Patrol agents have said it's dangerous. And 85 percent of those people on the terror watch list are actually coming across the northern border. And beware of Governor Cuomo, because he is the guy in 2019, while governor, who signed into law the Green Light Law, which allows illegal immigrants to get licenses and legality yeah. in New York State. And New York City, under Mayor Adams, he's doing nothing to stop this. They also have the right to vote at the moment. They're being challenged in court. All this undermining the taxpayers, undermining our security. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. And I see something worse than a 9-11 potentially happening. Is it OK to hold up Ukrainian aid over the border? Because that's the, I think that's the Republican demand at the moment. You don't get Ukrainian aid the, until you do something about that border. You're on board with that? I think it's really important because it's a priority for the Democrats because they are still, in, in spite of the Bill uh, Malugin tape that you just rolled, they are still trying to look away. And, and they're obsessed with Ukraine. We all are concerned and care for the Ukrainians and Putin and his intent to you know, see, run across uh, Europe and down into the Balkans, potentially. We, we don't know what's ultimately his goal, but we know it's not good. But look, it is something the Democrats want badly. And in order to get some kind of border, uh, this probably is our only and, and our best leverage point with them. Got it. Congresswoman, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Don't be a Thank stranger. You. Great to Come see back you, soon. We'll see you soon. Thanks.